<laughs> Yo, what is up guys? We're back. We got the car turned around, got the interior cleaned up. Now I'm moving on to the engine bay. There's a lot of stuff here that needs to be fixed. Before we start shaving, you can see down here, this little guy got bent up. This is actually pretty thick, so this will be a little difficult to straighten out. There is a little issue right here where the intercooler mounts to, or that this owner's intercooler mounts to. The tabs right here are all breaking. You can see they're cracking both sides. So I'll get that fixed up and then I'll actually add a second layer of metal underneath just to give it more support. Some holes that the owner wants filled that he circled. So go through those. The back right here has got some holes randomly. We'll start shaving things off and making it look real nice for the owner. All right, so I got these bad boys ground up. Got the back side of them ground up. We'll go ahead and, uh, whoops, get some glue going. And we should be set. Glue them on, clamp them on so they're nice and tight. I'm not gonna weld them because if you weld them, that's like the support is only where the weld is versus if I glue it, you know, it's all spread out where the glue is. So it'll be everywhere. So give it more strength and rigidity when it's in. Here we go. All right, the glue is dry with all these clamps on. I'm gonna take the clamps off and then we'll go in at another point and clean all of like the extra glue and some of the metal up a little bit more. But the bulk of the work is done. So cool, on to the engine bay stuff. Yo, what's up guys? So as you can see, we got a rotisserie for the cars. My back has been killing me and that's gonna be a thing of the past. I am so excited to get this assembled, get the car on it and go from there. All right, here's what we're looking like. Here's the instructions. Probably not gonna read that. Just have everything labeled. So let's get going. This will be fun. All right, so in order for me to throw the car on a rotisserie, I gotta 
mount it, obviously. So we got these brackets. That need to be drilled out. Take this bumper off, or rebar, whatever I call it, parachute mount. <laughs> mount this guy on there. Okay, so I need to attach this guy to that guy with the weld. So what I actually got is a second pair of tow hooks. So to weld it, I'm gonna use these. So I'm gonna replace them, trace them, and weld them. Okay, so here's what's going on. I got these bars on each side and really good now. They like nice and tight and snug. So I'm gonna put it on the just already, they won't collapse or the car won't bend in on itself. Just because I'm slightly crazy, we're gonna do one more support up here just to give it the extra safety precaution. <laughs> I don't see why those would be a problem, but you never know. So I'm going to do that now. I think we're about ready to throw it on the actual accessory. There'll be a few little things that have to come off still, but that's not too big of a deal. Do that afterwards. I got these support bars, made these little guys, should be good. We got um, the Duluc floor supports. As just an extra little bonus. The only other thing that I could do if I really wanted to would be doing like a cross section from there to over here. But I know a few cars that are on rotisseries that don't even have any any bracing at all. They're target top cars, so if they're doing all right, I should be all right with this overkill. Can I get it on jack stands? Drop the subframes, front and rear. Should be interesting. And then, yeah, slide it on the rotisserie. Cool guys, here we go. All right, the car is on the rotisserie. We're looking good. There's a few things left that need to come off at some point that this guy needs to come off some other small stuff here that needs to come off then we need to raise the car raise the rotisserie and get the car balanced so it's at a neutral point for rotating here we go Holy cow, we finally got a car on our It's been too long, my back is too sore, and now I can finally, finally be able to work without having my back busted all the time. Definitely excited now, move on to the engine bay, get that sorted out, get all those spout welds from the factory cleaned up, get all that seam sealer cleaned up, do the roof, clean up the roof some more where the, we did the plug welds. Finish up that rocker, get that nice without having to weld upside down. That is always the worst, welding upside down. If any of you out there weld, you'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, definitely excited for this, guys. Look at how nice that is. See this? See? See how nice this is? I'm sitting down. Let's go, baby. 
Yes! <laughs> All right, so I've been going forward on the engine bay, just stripping stuff down. Powerhouse Racing was nice enough to send me a template for the intercooler piping. So I'm gonna weld the new plates in right here and then go through and make an actual circle instead of whatever shape this is, because this is ugly. And we'll probably add a nice like bevel, like see how this has a bevel on it. So add a little nice bevel so it just looks a little cleaner. Cool, here we go. Okay, so I got a cut out so you can kind of see how it's two panels. This panel right here is overlaying this panel. So I'm gonna I drill the spot welds out. I'm gonna release the panel, get this welded in. And then we'll do the bottom section, get that welded in, and lay the panel back down. I also want to smooth this little hump out. Usually your battery sits here, so there's a big bracket to support the battery. So there's like multiple layers of metal. I'm going to try and clean that up so it's a little nicer. Okay, so here's a first look at the section. You can see it's just a little rough in some of the spots. Obviously, it's not done. And this side obviously isn't welded in yet, but we got that plate. We got the uh, plate that we're gonna do. We're gonna do that now. Okay, so we got that panel slightly cleaned up. I got the bottom side of it cleaned up too. Got weld through primer on. We're gonna go ahead and fill those welds back in. And then I got an extra hole here for weld. It'll hold it down. <clears throat> and then we can start mapping out our circle for the intercooler piping. Okay, so what's up? We got this template from Powerhouse Racing. I'm pretty sure I covered that earlier. Can't remember, it's been a minute for me. It's probably been 30 seconds, or whatever, for you guys. Anyway, that mounts here to this bolt, but there's usually a second bolt that goes right here for the battery tray, I think, or something like that. And that was cut out previously. So now what I'm gonna do is actually make a template of this on my car. And then we're gonna make a white piece of paper or whatever, line up some holes that are the same, go to my car, make the template, and then come back and we'll have hopefully where we need the hole to be for the intercooler piping. Okay, here is the template I use um, this one off of my car. I'll throw an image on screen. Just lined up the holes and then obviously there's the center of the hole. We'll make a four inch circle cut around that. Cool.
Okay, so <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> anyway, uh, I got this. This is what we're looking like for the uh, bevel that we're doing. So you can see I wound it up. It's got a bend in it, and then I wound it up, and I overwound it past the radius that it needs to be, so it fits through it. And then now what we need to do is <clears throat> I need to find a centerized or center point and then do the cut. So it, it's uh, like the same spot. And then we'll put that in there and weld it up. Should look pretty good. Cool. All right, here we are. Looking pretty good. Maybe a little tiny bit more cleanup work to be done. But I think that looks pretty good. So, awesome. Hopefully that's in the right position. Cool. Now I'm going to clean up more of the metal. There's a few more welds that I need to, or spot welds from the factory that I need to clean up. Get those filled in. Clean up this side. Be good to go. Alright, so this side's looking pretty good now. There's a few more things that I'll clean up before finishing it off. I'm going to transfer now to this side. The hardest part has actually been removing the paint. The uh, owner painted it with some really cheap, nasty stuff. Like it, uh, like even this guy right here, surfacing tool, you know, this crud wheel spins really fast. It, it just, um, like, gets really like gummed up. I don't know how else to explain it. So what I found has been working has actually been washing or wiping down with uh, lacquer thinner a whole bunch. And then that kind of breaks down the, the paint that the owner did. It doesn't seem to affect the factory paint. You know, that's high quality paint. So it's just been taking forever to be honest. I feel like the amount of time it's going to take me to sand that and that all out, I can do the whole car, including all the panels, because of how bad it is. Hopefully, uh, the side goes a little faster now that I've got that lacquer thinner method going. I'll uh, quick show you guys what it's like with that lacquer. All right, so this side's cleaning up pretty good. I got obviously a lot more stuff to clean up, but started welding. And there's a dent right here for clearance for the turbo. So I'm going to actually cut it where it's like pushed in and then flatten it out and make it look like, you know, it's supposed to be there instead of a hammered mess. Cool, here we go. All right, we're looking pretty good, I think, you know. Got a tiny little bit more cleanup to do on this bad boy, but now there's like a purpose instead of a hammer. It's pretty flat, looks pretty good. So you still got the same little shape over here. So that's looking pretty good. Cool.
All right, so quite a lot of time has passed. <laughs> there is a lot more to go. Some of the, like the corners need a little bit more work and it's under there needs a little bit more work. And a little bit more up front here, but we are pretty stripped down. I'll quick go over the inside of the cowl. It's not too important, but yeah. So now what I think I'm gonna do is start filling out some of these like, little lines, get some body filler going in on some of the stuff. I don't wanna weld everything because I don't wanna cause the inside of the primer to get overheated. Yeah. This took a long time to strip down because of that, that paint that was on it. But it's almost done. Whew. All right. As you can see, I got body filler on it. I sanded it all out already. I didn't think you guys would enjoy watching someone sanding because it's boring to do. So why would it be fun to watch? But we are looking pretty good. Now what I need to do is run tape lines all along the seal edges and we're gonna put a new seam sealer on it. And then we can finish up some of the spots that I missed with the red. Get primer on. Are you good to go? Cool. All right. Engine bay is looking pretty good. I got a little bit more masking to do. And we'll shoot some primer. Cool. All right, that'll do it for this video. Comment down below what you guys think about the engine bay. We got the shock tower cleaned up so the turbo has more room. We got the intercooler piping hole. I'm gonna try and do a little bit shorter videos to hopefully get more releases consistently. And then on top of that, we're gonna be moving on to the body of the car. That'll be fun. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Hit me with that like button, maybe share it. it really helps me out. I'm trying to grow the channel. But yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.